Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is July 15, 2024. And in this video, we're not gonna be talking about Barcelona news. Instead, I'm gonna be telling you about all the records that our own La Media Mal has broken at the Euros 2024. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel, my name is Mo and before we begin with the video I do have a special announcement which is that Barca News officially has a new partner which is no other than Goal Kits. Now Goal Kits is a jersey manufacturer so if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or jerseys from any other club around the world or international team around the world including retro kits make sure you head to Gold Kits. I'll be leaving a link down below in the description. If you click on it, you get a special offer of 12% discount, plus you get access to their current offer that Gold Kits are having, which is if you buy three jerseys, your fourth one is free. Now, Gold Kits will be sending me some jerseys pretty soon. I will be unboxing them here on the channel in case you are curious about the quality of jerseys that they make. And I'm very, very excited to be announcing this partnership. And of course, don't forget about our other partner, Bet Us. If you are looking to place any sports bet, make sure you head to Bet Us. And finally, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. All of this helps the channel continue to grow. Now, as you know, Spain were recently crowned champions of Europe after defeating England in the final 2-1 to one in what was an incredible run by the Spanish national team, winning seven out of seven matches and defeating some pretty strong opponents on their way to the trophy, including teams like England, France, Germany, Croatia, and Italy. And with this win, not only did Spain become the Euro champions, but they also become a, became a record holder because they have the most Euros in the history of competition, having won four trophies. Three out of those trophies in the last five editions of the competition. Definitely a very impressive feat by La Roja. And the 2024 Euros are not only going to be remembered by the impressive performance of Spain, who were by far the best team in the competition, but it's also going to be remembered for being the Euros where La Minia Mal, our own Barcelona star, our crown jewel of La Masia, announced his arrival on international football. Now, during this impressive run with Spain, La Minia Mal broke all kinds of records, and I'm gonna tell you exactly every single record that our youngster broke at this competition. Now, the first record that La Minia Mal broke was that he became the youngest debutant at the Euros, or in the history of the Euros, at 16 years and 338 days, La Minia Mal became the youngest player to make his debut in the Euros. He, uh, this record was initially held by Kasper Kozlowski, who was 17 years and 246 days at the time of his debut for Poland. So La Minia Mal breaking that record by almost an entire uh, year. Now that's not all because La Minia Mal also became the youngest player to appear in a major, tur major tournament semifinal at 16 years and 362 days, breaking Pelé's record of 60 years that was uh, held back or that was uh, initially made by Pelé or achieved by Pelé back in 1958 when Pelé debuted in the semifinal of the World Cup at 17 years old. And finally, at 17 years and one day, La Minia Mal also became the youngest player to appear in the Euro or World Cup final. Now, that, that's not all because La Minia Mal also became the youngest player to score at the Euro. We all remember that jaw-dropping equalizer that La Minia Mal scored at, uh, against France in the semifinal. And at 16 years and 362 days, La Minia Mal became the youngest player to score in the history of, co of the competition, breaking the previous record held by Johan Volanten, who achieved that record back in 2004 at 18 years and 141 days, so a year and a half older 
than our youngster Lamine Yamal. Now more records because Lamine Yamal also became the youngest player to assist in the history of the Euros. He achieved this record in the opening match against Croatia where he assisted Dani Carvajal for Spain's third goal. Of course that match ended 3-0 in favor of Spain and Lamine Yamal picked up that record against Luka Modric's Croatia. Also, Lamine Yamal became the youngest player to win the MVP in the history of the Euros. He won that MVP in the semifinal against France, not only for the amazing goal that he scored, but also for his breathtaking display and game-changing display. And he set that record at 16 years and 362 days and more records. This seems endless, but that's how good Lamine Yamal is. But more records because Lamine Yamal also became the youngest player to ever win the Euros and also the youngest player to win the Young Player of the Tournament Award. And Lamine Yamal achieved that after his 17th birthday, establishing a solid lead over his teammate Pedri, who was 18 years and 215 days when the Euros began back in 2020. Now, Lamine Yamal also became the youngest player to, assist, to be assist leader at the Euros. Lamine Yamal finished the tournament with a staggering four assists to his names. Shabby Simmons finished behind him with three assists, while Fabian Ruiz and Dani Olmo finished with two assists each. Now the final record that Lamine Yamal achieved was the youngest player to assist in the Euro knockouts. Absolutely magnificent records by Lamine Yamal, an incredible performance by Lamine Yamal and an incredible run by Lamine Yamal with Spain and this only shows how great our youngster is. Now these are only records that Lamine Yamal holds with Spain. Of course, Lamine Yamal holds a bunch of other records with Barcelona, including the youngest Clasico player, the youngest debutant in La Liga, the youngest goal scorer in La Liga, the youngest debutant in the Spanish Super Cup, the youngest scorer in the Spanish Super Cup, and the list goes on and on and on and I can probably make a 20 minute video just discussing all the records that our youngster currently holds. But I only wanted to cover the ones that he just broke in the Euros since the Euros just ended a few days ago or I guess it was yesterday that the Euros, it feels like a, a few days ago but it was yesterday that the Euros ended. And this just goes to show ladies and gentlemen that we have a generational talent on our hands, we definitely have a future star, a player that is only 17 years old. I think we cannot forget that Lamine Yamal is only a child. What we're currently seeing from him is only the tip of the iceberg. He is still developing, he is still getting better, he is still learning, and he's only gonna get better and better with time. And I have to say, I cannot wait what more will Lamine Yamal achieve and hopefully what will be a very long, bright and successful career. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a different video from my usual ones. I did not discuss the use. I just wanted to bring you this, uh, this video about all the records that Lamine Yamal uh, broke in the Euros. I am curious to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about our young star's performance in the European Championship. And also, I am curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you wanna see more videos like this one where they're not necessarily news, but more related to a specific topic? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, I did do the podcast earlier today. Lots of news in there. Make sure to check it out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. And as always, Bisca Barça.